Now we're gonna eat your beautiful trifle. Okay, yes. deal. Now I understand mm -hmm. that this is one of your favorite things to do for dinner parties. I love it. It's so versatile and it's so much fun. And I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to make stuff from scratch to do this. Okay, that's So good. It's, you can do very easily do any trifles with store-bought ingredients too. All right. But we're gonna oh, show you how to make it from scratch. Yes, yeah, today we're making it from scratch and it starts with your delicious butterscotch pudding. Yes, okay, so what I'm gonna do is we've put um, the dry ingredients in a pan just to get us started. Brown sugar, cornstarch, and salt. Okay. Okay, I'm a big fan of salt with sweet things. It Always. helps to bring out the flavor. Mm -hmm. Then the wet ingredients are five beautiful golden egg yolks. Okay. Two cups of milk. Oh, oh that's okay. Or a little less than two cups. <laughs> One and three quarters cups. Yeah, I really <laughs> want two cups. No, it not at all. Good unless you make them <laughs> You know that as a Excuse chef, me, you know there that. we go. And one cup of heavy cream. There you go. I didn't waste the cream though. No. Did you notice that? <laughs> mm. We're gonna whisk that together. Okay. And get that all incorporated. Thank you, Debbie. You're, You're my well. perfect well. sous chef. Thank you. Anytime, and you just let me know. Thank you. And then we're gonna turn this up mm. a little bit and we're gonna pour the wet into the dry. And why do you do it this way? Because it just it just kind of gets it going. Okay. It's a little faster way. If you can smell, you can smell the brown sugar already. It's already, so yeah, good. yeah. Oh. And you know that concept that you said about the butterscotch because you normally Caramelize make caramel. It. Uh -huh. it does add a little bit extra on that. So we're we're mixing this. You got to make sure to continue to stir it because it's eggs, right? You and don't the, want them to scramble. You don't want them to scramble. But if you do end up with scrambled eggs, when you put it into when when you um, add, before you add the butter and the vanilla, you can strain it. Oh, so okay. if you, if you, there's always I, ways to fix things. You could fix that. I didn't know you that. You can fix it. Yes. Oh, that's great. To or you know, can Betty. call it a scrambled egg pudding. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> a butterscotch scrambled there egg. There you go. If you made it, good. it would still taste good. Ah, thank you. So you'll see, it'll start to thicken up. It takes a while. How long does it usually like take? Five, seven minutes. Okay. Don't that's give up. Quick. Yeah, it's it's because it's got the cornstarch in it, and the eggs will both okay. help it thicken. We're gonna switch. I'm gonna come over here, over here, okay. so this doesn't ruin. Keep doing Perfect. that. And you then after that. five to seven minutes, then it starts to look like. This. Look at that. Wow. That's wow. Then we're going to add the Is that butter. all butterscotch is? Yeah, I well, never knew that. It's sometimes so easy to make it from scratch. I, I, kinda, I wonder if they put scotch in it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's along yep. the line did. And then some vanilla. Guess. And vanilla you can extract. actually, you don't have to use vanilla. You could put almond, you could sure. put rum, you could oh. put bourbon. Oh All gosh. of those good things. Can you smell that? Oh, it smells oh, good. Oh, it smells so Amazing. delicious. Okay, I'm going to move this right, over very so we good. can continue to get this trifle going. And this is, this guy, what we want to do after it's all melted in there, Yummy. we want to then refrigerate it because okay. we need to let it cool down to assemble the trifle, okay? So if you don't eat it like that, we want <laughs> it it's so good. And, and we left a little bit out with the milk spill, but oh. there's plenty. There's plenty. All right, so we have our refrigerated butterscotch pudding mm -hmm. in there. Now you've also made a beautiful pumpkin bread yes. to go along with this yes. and a pomegranate whipped cream. Of course! That is yes. after this world. <laughs> so we have our chilled butterscotch pudding, our uh, pomegranate whipped cream, mm. our caramelized apples. Cinnamon caramelized apples. Cinnamon. Those. And this beautiful oh, uber moist uh, pumpkin bread. So what makes your pumpkin Man. bread different than others? I uh, use lots and, of spices. I like to add ginger. Oh my goodness, I like you can lots smell it. of pumpkin. Woo. I, uh, um, uh, cinnamon and cloves and and nutmeg, and nutmeg and all spice. I put them all in there. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Okay, so we have already pre-assembled. Am I making too much noise? Yes. <laughs> He's making I, so much noise. I, do, we have, do we I'm have something happening that. over there? I, I mean, I'm, I'm just like. <laughs> mm, Yay! Doesn't it smell here. like fall? Excuse me to interrupt. Yeah. It, all right, now you could slice this, but I like to get my hands dirty when I cook. Okay. So I'm going to take this, and with trifles, you want to make sure that you get it all the way to the edge, because it's one of the things that makes you it so pretty it. is that you see it. So oh, go this is around. very satisfying to yes, dig in. So you start it. So it's bottom. You start like it's bread. Yeah, bread and then pudding and then fruit. Bread, and pudding, there you go. Okay. Like I said, you can oh do this dog. with any. See how moist it is. Bread is good. Well, what are some <laughs> other of your favorite trifle combos oh, that you you'd like what? to put wow. together? I am a sucker for um, peanut butter, bananas, oh. and chocolate. So oh. if you put in a trifle, well, yeah. you had me. 
Imagine, imagine that. that. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna pour <laughs> this so. right on top pudding. of there. You're so fancy looking. Spread that out. Rifles always are so impressive when you put it on the table. Just yeah. spread that out. And that you see, bread. you can do oh. the presentation version or you can do the individuals, which are so this is fun. I see, so you, you constructed these individually. Like you didn't like kind of scoop it out of that, right? Because that kind of right. already, already yes. mixes it together. Yes, and right. then, oh, of the course. bread. Mm, We've got it. I know. <laughs> Deb, you gonna be okay? <laughs> no. Are you gonna be okay? We're gonna so do okay. now these apples. Metal apples, which are very easy to make as well. You could do pears. Oh. You could do um. You could do any kind of fruit that you like. And how did you make these exactly? <laughs> these guys, you take the skin off, you slice them up, and then you put a little brown sugar and yeah. butter and all this seasoning, uh, and then bake them. That's it. Well, bake them. That's and they get all gooey like that. Yes. It tastes even better. Okay, oh, and now you put you, the beautiful. You, it just you get coming. to do it. Do I just, just right in the middle? Dollop. Like that? Dollop. Just beautiful. Yes, and so what we did oh, was we made whipped cream. Yep. We added a little bit of cornstarch to the whipped cream because okay. it oh, helps to, to, yeah. to, to, yeah. to set oh, it up really? so it won't fall. And then you add, and then you fold gently fold okay. in the fresh pomegranate seeds. Okay. And then you put the toasted. Look at that red seeds. and green on top. Yeah. And okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's a work of art, Debbie. Wow. <laughs> Dig it. And then and then you eat. And then you eat.